Hello 108 students, Mr. McHugh here back. Uh, this is number 10 on our whiteboard video sessions. I would like to spend a couple minutes and give some more clarification on a notebook. I've had a couple emails and I appreciate you guys calling and asking me questions and, and I like to see when you guys are concerned about doing uh, quality work. It will definitely help you out. So uh, I also understand my last video uh, showing the notebook didn't come out as clear as it went. So I want to at least take this opportunity to show um, what I'm looking for to help everybody. I know you've been working hard this week, so uh, for your notebook, a lot of you already know this, but we'll just kind of summarize here. You're looking for a three ring binder, I would say at least uh, three inches, maybe four inches in thickness. It, it, we will do a lot of work this semester. Everything goes inside the binder, so get yourself a three hole puncher, make sure you punch everything out and put it inside there. Okay, now the structure or the organization of the notebook, you're looking for five sections, I think I've noticed that, that before. Uh, number zero here is just the beginning part, so I just want to review this real quick. Okay, I've asked you guys to put a study page, excuse me, a title page, a list your goals, the very first thing that you see. Um, <clears throat> that will help you when you use your homework to keep going so you know your motivation is. Okay, number two, um, I would print out the train schedule that's listed. Um, it's also under um, my math lab. I'm looking at it right now, a bullet train schedule. You can print that out to keep that handy so you know, so you know where you're supposed to be. Number three, print out the syllabus and make sure you sign out. Um, that's just uh, to say that you acknowledge everything. And real quick, remember I sent out an announcement that said the uh, final has to be moved to Friday, July 27th. I'm not allowed to give it on Monday. I just posted that announcement. Okay. So, next thing I noticed, I sent out an email. I included files for uh, the pre-algebra and the algebra reference sheets. These are color. They're very well organized. I use those as a starting point to get going on your notebooks and, and use them. Okay, I, would, I would look at them. Okay, now, now these sections that I'm going to go over here real quick, the order doesn't matter. You work with what, what's comfortable for you. I, I want this to be an organizational scheme that, that makes sense that you will use. This notebook is for you. Okay, now, uh, to, to get the concepts across, I will, I will go in this order. Now, it's up to you what order you use, but this kind of fairly makes logical sense. Okay, now hand notes. This is where you are going to take one page per summary, and you're going to write out of that, out of each section. You're going to summarize the, the concepts, the rules, and it, it can be more than one page. By the way, it doesn't have to be just one. I had a student ask it, and, and you're allowed to use whatever method helps you. Okay, again, that extra credit on the notebook. It's the effort that I'm saying. It's the total cumulative effort that I'm looking for. So, make sure you you do what works for you. But a one page summary. Use that to review for your quizzes and tests in the final. Okay, so you've done that. I'm going to show more details on here as I go on to the second part here, but this is the structure. Class notes, these you are going to get out of my math lab. There are PDF files under course tools slash shared documents. And I believe um, I showed that in my, uh, my math lab videos yesterday. There's a big list of PDF files starting at the bottom. When you read them, you'll see the sections on there open those up and print them out and then three hole punch them and then start putting them in chronological order in section two of your class notes. Okay, I was talking to one student, I make a recommendation um, using uh, highlighters like yellow or orange or whatever works for you, going through, looking at each of the sections. Uh, whenever you see a number in a circle, those are objectives, you might find that to be a good way to do the highlighting through it. Okay, that's up to you. But it shows me that you at least that you're reading the notes and you're you're trying to work with the uh, work with learning equipment. Okay, now homework section, all homework starting from 1.1 all the way up to 10.6. You're going to start a new page and you're going to put the homework for it. You're going to write the problem, show the work, how you got the steps, and circle it. And these are going to come from your My Math Lab. Do not do any problems out of the textbook. They are already incorporated into My Math Lab. Okay. Quizzes, same thing. You're going to have your, your two weekly quizzes. You're going to start them on a clean sheet of paper. Label everything. I'll try to show details here in a minute. Label everything, and um, <clears throat> it'll help you when you don't quite get the answers. You can go back and figure out what you did wrong. You can find your mistakes. Okay, when you take your, your online tests, your proctor tests, uh, we're going to keep those all in, in the last section of your notebook. Uh, the final will be a multiple choice, and you will not use your notebook for that. I'll, I will, I'll be grading your notebook class final on July 27th. Okay, hopefully this is a quick uh, a 
quick overview of the uh, concepts needed here. Now, what I want to do is uh, get a little bit of clean whiteboard here and try to show uh, what I'm looking for for details, okay? So uh, bear with me just a second here. Um, you know, taking notes, um, keeping organized, I, I find many students have lost this art and I, and I have had good success with students buying into the system. So, so what am I talking about? Let's talk about homework. Let's pretend this is a page. Let's see, how does that look? There's a page, and most, most students are going to use, you don't have to use uh, line paper, but I recommend, I see some students using graph paper, maybe an engineering paper. You use what you like, okay? But the key thing here is maybe you're going to the top, you're going to say HW section 1.1. I like to put boxes on everything, but you know that's section 1.1. Okay. On the next page that you're going to do, you're going to put 1.2. Now, you can use both sides of the paper. Don't, don't go crazy thinking I'll be on one side. You go ahead and use front and back. Okay, so do your front and back. Save some paper, some thickness. Okay, here's the deal. Um, I, I, I don't know what the problem is for one point. I just want to make something up easy here. Let's say you're going to do an algebra problem. 2x plus 3 equals um, 5x minus 1. I'm just making this up on the fly. Okay, now, here's the story. You wrote the problem. You got it from my math lab. Now, you got to write this accurately. Now, you're going to go ahead and solve for it. So, what I'm looking for is for you to go ahead and combine steps. Now, for me, uh, in class, I would talk about, you look and say, are the terms unique or different on each side of the equation? The answer is yes. Next, you got to combine like terms. You've got to isolate the x. you got to use your, uh, this is problems basically from chapter 2, that's okay. So I will call it 2.1, it doesn't matter. Now, what can we do to combine the x terms? you got to have the same base, same exponent. I recommend you move the smaller of the two terms. Here's 2x, 5x. Which one's smaller? 2x. Okay, so minus 2x on both sides. Are you maintaining balance? Yes, you're doing a subtraction property of equality. Okay, guess what happens? 2x minus, 2x minus 2x is a big fat zero. Here's your plus 3. Look at this. 5x minus 2x is 3x. Have you combined the terms? Yes. Oops, oops, oops. Excuse me. Minus 1. Okay. Now, what do we do next? What do we got to do to isolate the x term? Oh, it's on the right-hand side. No big deal. What about this? Look at this term. It's a minus 1. It's a number, a constant. Can you move it to the other side? Yes, by doing the opposite value of it. So opposite of minus or opposite of subtraction is what class? Addition. Okay, so add 1 to both sides. Again, I like to draw the lines. Am I maintaining balance? Am I combining like terms? 3 plus 1 is 4 equals 3x plus what? 0. Okay, we know 0 added to anything uh, does not change the value, so we can write 4 equals 3x. Okay, finally, what's next? Divide both sides by 3. Why are we doing that? Because you know your secret decoder ring, uh, the point here tells you that a number in front of the variable is multiplication. So I do multiplication, you do division. So if you divide by 3 on both sides, what happens? Hey, look at this. 3 divided by 3 is what class? Anything divided by self? There you go. 1. 1 times x equals, oh, we got a fraction. That's all right. Now, 1 times anything. Does that ever change the value? 1 times myself, you still have me. Okay, so x equals 4 thirds. You circle your answer, and this is what you're going to put in my math lab. Okay, now, maybe I took a little longer explaining the problems, but um, at least you're getting an idea. You're showing the work. Okay, now, with that said, what is a typical page of homework going to look like to you? You've seen the details. I'm looking for you numbered the problem. Okay. Oops, I dropped my... There you go. Here's homework 2.1. Here was problem number one row 2x plus 1 equals 3x plus 4, whatever. We showed the lines, we answer. Number 2, here's another problem, excuse me. Uh, 5x equals 10. Divide by 5. x equals 2. Uh oh. Here's my dog. Here's my dog. Sorry. Gizzy. <clears throat> so, you are going to work vertically, is what I'm trying to get everybody to see. Is everybody comfortable with that concept? Work vertically. If you can squeeze two columns in your page, go for it. Put number five up, four up here. Show the work. Circle the answer. Okay, 
Okay, you're going to do this over and over again. Flip to the back page, do the same idea. Okay? Okay, now hopefully you, you're getting the idea here. Um, if you're going to do quizzes, it'd be the same idea. You take your tests, it's the same concept. Okay? Be neat, be organized, work vertically. Why do this? What if you make a mistake up here and you minus two on both sides and you've made an arithmetic error? You've got to find that error, you've got to find that mistake, realize it, fix it so you can get your correct answer for your mind math lab. Okay, um, I'm hoping that helps out a lot. Um, I'm just trying to think of anything else to tell you here. Um, I'll go for that for now. If you guys have any more questions, please, you know, my open communication policy, send me emails. I will try to get back to you ASAP and get answers for you, especially this week when you get your notebooks organized. Okay, uh, that's all for now. I'll catch you on the next one.